Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you all the gestures uh, for the Magic Trackpad in iPad OS 13.4. Uh, so there's a lot of new gestures in iPad OS 13.4, uh, so in this video I'm just going to be showing you all of them. Uh, so to start off, we can go into Settings, and then once we're in Settings, we're going to go into Bluetooth. Then you're going to see that will say Magic Trackpad right there, uh, so you're just going to go ahead and make sure that you connect to it. So now once you've done that, you can just use your magic trackpad. Uh, so a three finger swipe up will take you back home. Now the first gesture is just going to control center. So you just use the magic trackpad and then just click on control center. Then you're gonna see they have the control center right here. Uh, so then what you can do is go ahead and just tap on anything. So you can just tap and hold. And then you're gonna see that we have the options for brightness. What we can do is also tap and uh, hold on volume as well. Uh, so get some more information about the volume, uh, same with the Bluetooth. And then you can also tap on the Bluetooth and it'll give you all the options. So you can see it's just that simple. Now you can just go to the notification center just by clicking on here. You're going to see all of our notifications right there. So it's just that simple. Uh, so you can see that there's just a lot of cool gestures that we could easily do. Now once you go into an app such as uh, iTunes Store, and then we just use the trackpad with three fingers and get out of it. Uh, we can just go into multitasking just like that. Uh, so you could just put it off into the corner. Now we can go into the app store as well. Just take three fingers and put them up. And then you'll see that we have all the apps right here. So you could just go into one uh, like that. So you can see that it's really just that simple. Uh, so you can see that there's just a lot of great features within this. Now you can just take two fingers and swipe down. And then you're going to see that there'll be the spotlight right there, so it's just that simple. Uh, so it's good to see that we have the option for the spotlight. And uh, now what we can actually do is go into uh, the iTunes store and you can hit continue. And then we can just swipe in between two apps with three fingers, uh, just left and right. Uh, so you can just go uh, this way to go back into uh, the app store and then iTunes store. So it's just that simple with just three fingers. Uh, so you can see that's the way to multitask as well. So it's really easy in that way. Now another feature is the add another app uh, to get the uh, split view. So just simply uh, take our finger and then just go uh, to the dock right here. And you'll see all the apps will pop up. Uh, so you can just choose to have, uh, then you can go into uh, the Apple Music app, for example, and then just uh, bring it over. And then you'll see that the Apple Music app will be right here. And then you can just simply uh, go through it. Now you can take three fingers and just uh, swipe up and you'll see all of our other multitasking apps right here so you could easily go into it uh, and it's just basically a carousel uh, of your app so uh, it's really easy in that way so this is just with the split view now if we go to notes lastly it's really easy to look at the notes so you can just easily highlight text uh, and then you can just right click and then it'll just show you the options right here. So it has a lot of great features in iPad OS 13. And those are the main features that you can do uh, with the Magic Trackpad integration. Now, lastly, we can go into settings and then we can go into general. And then once you're in general, we can go to where it says trackpad. Now we can take a look at the trackpad and then under the trackpad settings, you're going to see that there's a tracking speed. Uh, you can have natural scrolling. You can also turn on tap to click uh, as well. So that's really convenient. Uh, so now once you turn it on, it's just like a, a MacBook Pro trackpad, how you can easily just simply uh, tap and then it will just have the selection and it be registered as a click. Uh, so that's everything you can do with the Magic Trackpad. So thanks for watching this video on all the gestures you can do with the Magic Trackpad. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to this video. Please smash the like button down below so know you watched. Also be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out AppleCritics.com for these Apple news reviews and more. Like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash AppleCritics. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash AppleCritics. And also follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash AppleCritics. And once again, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Thanks for watching.